Good afternoon. I'm Blake. Welcome to MCHSLive.com News. Let's see what we have in the show today. I'm Natalie, and later on in the show, I'll get to you news about today's soccer games. I'm Nate, and later I will have the ladies on how the golf team did last night, details about the baseball region, championship series, and more for you in sports. Hey, I'm Gabe, and I'll get you caught up on the tennis news later on in the show. Well, Tyler is covering cars again. Well, stay tuned if you want to hear about it. It's Wednesday, April 21st, and MCHS Live starts now. Sweet 16 match coming up for the girls' tennis team. Hey, Gabe, do you care to spare some more details? That's right. T this afternoon is the girls' tennis GHSA Sweet 16 matches against Crisp County. M the matches start at 4.30, so make sure you mask up and show up to support our lady dogs. Thanks, Gabe. And let's listen to what Q has to say about football. The Morgan County football program are looking for managers, male and female. If you're interested, go see Coach Paul. And we must, you must be hard working and dedicated to manage the football team. You will start spring practice, summer practice, and during the season in the fall. Thanks, Q. Last night, the golf team hosted Oconee County at Hard Labor Creek. The team split with the girls losing to the Warriors and the boys winning. The low scorer from the match for the girls was Clark Carroll with a 55. Landon Breedlove with, led the way for the Bulldogs with a 38. Both teams are back in action tomorrow at Georgia National and McDonough. Last night, the baseball team opened the region championship series at Harlem High School. Unfortunately for the dog, Harlem used base-to-base -base baseball to score 10 runs on 10 hits and take the win. For the dogs, there were four hits. Brendan Conway had a pair of hits and was joined in the hit column by David Denton and Ben Cootie. Games two and three of the series are Friday night at home. Game one starts at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. and game two will begin around 7.30. Come out and support the team, but if you can't make it, we will have it at, at mchslive.com. Let's take a look at what Natalie has for soccer news. GHSA round one matches are today at home versus Appling County. The girls game starts at 4 p.m. and the boys game starts at 6 p.m. If you can't make it to the game, make sure to tune in to mchslive.com news. Thanks, Natalie. We'll be right back with more news after the weather and a commercial from the doghouse. Today's weather is super windy. The high is 64 and later on in the day it'll get super cool. Tomorrow should be about the same weather as it is today, so be prepared. Welcome to the doghouse. The doghouse is the school store here at MCHS located right by the cafeteria on Main Street. Open during lunch, the doghouse has a wide variety of snacks, drinks, school supplies. Well, let's say you don't want any of those things. Well, that's fine too. They also have a lot of cool custom and spirit wear that you can't purchase anywhere else like what I'm holding right now. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to the doghouse or visit their website mchsdoghouse.com and get what you need. In music news, Billie Eilish teases that things are coming as fans await a new album. She has dropped hints on Instagram in the past few months. She also shared the quarantine and encouraged her to get back into the studio and said in February that as many as 16 songs will be on her new album. We're not sure when the album will release, but we will be sure to let you know when it does. In movie news, for fans of the extremely popular Fast and Furious movies, the ninth movie in the franchise simply entitled Fast and the Furious 9. The movie continues the story of the previous movies following Dominic Toretto as him and his friends have to fight against his own estranged brother. The movie is coming out on June 25th and is definitely a must watch for action movie fans. For Marvel fans upset about the end of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier ending this week, then you should start getting ready for the new series coming to Disney Plus June 11th. Loki the series will be set directly after Endgame and will be about Loki's adventures dealing with the Time Variance Authority. Be sure to check out the new series on June 11th only on Disney Plus. Recently, the car manufacturer Dodge announced a new version of their Charger. This is supposed to be the grand finale car before they move on to a new generation. 
the new Dodge Charger Ghoul is said to be the last of the gener this generation. Powered by a crazy crate engine called the Elephant, it's said to produce around 1,000 horsepower, which is the most by any Dodge. Unfortunately, there is no said release date. Today's joke of the day goes out to the girls' tennis team as they prepare to take on Chris County in the second round of the GHSA tournament. How do you create a silent tennis match? You take away the racket. That's all for today. Join us tomorrow for sports updates, news from around MCHS, and from around the world. Have a great day, and as always, go dogs.